I'm here with Miko. Miko likes to lunge out of the elevator, and that's a bit of a problem because he has some leash aggression. He likes dogs, but not when he's on a leash. In this video, we're going to over how you can condition your dog to not go out the door when it stops. So we're on, we're on the elevator. We actually hit a whole bunch of numbers. We're doing the thing that little kids like to do. Miko. So what I'm trying, I'm using a positive interrupter kissing sound. So we get to the, oh, looks like, go ahead and hit another button, uh, five. Five? Uh, any of them, yeah, we still, it just, um, there we go. So we're gonna hit the level, there we go. There you go. There we go, buddy. So what I wanna do is I wanna create an association when he hears the beat, Go ahead and hit uh, five or four. There we go. Oh, no, we're going out. So I hit, uh, or 12 work. So I've got some treats here. I'm going to wait 10, 11, and we should hear a beep right now. Yeah, it went in the wrong spot, didn't it? So what I want to have happen is the door open, but him to be preoccupied by getting these treats. And all right, so now we're going to five. So I'm gonna just watch nine, eight. So I've got the treats ready to go. I got four. You see, he's ready to go. So we're at six. Nico. So I'm showing him by the treat. I'm getting warmed up. Then I throw another one here, another one here. Nico. And you see his response is he's conditioned. Here's the beep, and he goes to the door. So one of the things I'd like the guardian to do is to record. Well, here. We're going to hear a beep here in a sec. Hey. Hey, buddy. <laughs> there you go, buddy. All right, so uh, what, what, what I'm going to have you do, we're recording a little video. I'm going to keep dogs to lunch, not lunch. He's like, I want your lunch. Uh, so what I, want you to, <laughs> what I want you to do is get your phone, record that beeping sound. Mm -hmm. And then basically what you can do is, like we did for the marker word. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Oh, let's go back up to the top. Miko. So I'd like you to play that beep and give him a treat right afterwards. And so after a while, that beep is going to be the same thing as our mark word that he knows the beep means I'm about to get a treat. So then what we can do is um, hear the beep. Miko. Right, 11, 12. There we go. So we're down here. The door's about to open. So I show him I got five. I'm throwing him there. The door's opening, but he's practicing not lunging out the door because there's treats, there's better stuff in here for him. So the idea for this is we want to eventually have him, uh, uh, with the beeping sound that you have in your place, what you could do is record that, uh, have him sit. As soon as he sits, play the beep, and then give him a treat. So we're going to do that in your home so that there's no uh, co collateral confusion. So right here, this time he didn't lunge to go out. Come on in. Recording a little dog behavior video. <laughs> so instead of him lunging to get out, he was more interested in the treats. And so now if there's somebody there with the dog, he's not going to lunge out and say, oh, be surprised by a dog. He's like, when the beep happens, that means there's going to be a whole bunch of treats on the floor over here. And so she's getting off on two. So Miko, Miko, oh. uh, he's not a good one. Thank you so much. Miko. Hey, see that stiffness that he had. Uh, the stiffness he had was an indication he wasn't comfortable, but we did a little conditioning already, so he was in a pretty good mood when that happened because he saw those, uh, those treats. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Nico. Come here, buddy. Now, you see right here, he's not interested in taking the treats. So if you get a dog that likes treats and suddenly won't take them, that's an indication that we're getting close to their arousal level like we talked about earlier off camera. So what you might want to do is just get in the habit when you get in the elevator, have some treats like this. So now he's kind of on edge. He's looking, waiting for another dog to come. Nico, Nico. So it's not ideal to obviously get in the elevator and press the button over and over again, but if you can do that on a couple floors and every time, and just you have to time it out. So as soon as that door is about to open, you're gonna have about three or four treats, just like I got right here. And we lure him away from the door. And we're going to go all the way to one, Nico. Nico. Just 
Now that's still the reaction. Go ahead and let you go out first. Yeah. Uh, you can keep it going. But his reaction is just to race out the door. And so that time he saw a dog, didn't freak out, because he was a little bit more practiced in doing this. So if you practice this, make going into the elevator, an activity where I get a whole lot of treats, but I'm listening to you to get the treats. I'm sitting to get the treats. I'm not lunging, lunging out the door. Because right now, the lunging out the door is such a reward. 